the biggest enemy is yourself. Only you can hurt yourself. Don't follow the feelings. The feeling is not you. But when you find out truly who you are, you are already stronger than anyone. We don't have to worry about it. And we don't have to carry about it. Carries, you know, that remember, hold our life. I'm asking about mind attack. I never hear that. You say that mind attack. We have interview yesterday, right? And say, okay, I, I want to be strong. You know, I want to be peaceful, right? I want to protect me, even, you know, my family. But who is I? The mind, we don't know what is mind. But we keep saying mind. I operate. My mind is so small or big or strong. Mind control. We don't know what is mind. That made people scared, right? Mind attack. Nobody can hurt me. People can hurt my body, right? Eating, and, you know, we can have happened. That's like even the child, you know, where since you be a child, can happen, right? Play with people, we are animal, sort of, right? But since when we care about mind, even we don't have, and we operate, I don't want to hurt my mind. That's what Buddhidharma is teaching, right? The student asked Buddhidharma, Master, please tell me, I'm hurting. And he asked, where? My mind is hurting, breathing. Bring it here. Even you don't know what is mind, that's why we are prayed, right? Okay, I tell you the truth. Because the mind, nobody can see, right? Because mind is not the thing. It can hurt only yourself. How many people have lynch or even body attack, you know, by somebody on the street? But this is only like, you know, like not many times. Even somebody not have, but operate. Why? Right? Because it's all from the soul. It can happen. Why? Right? If you have bad luck. But this is not all the time. Okay, let me put it this way. Me also, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I can have any time I have accident, car accident, or somebody hit me, or somebody insulting me, or whatever, hit mind, or hit body, whatever. I'm not thinking that all the time. I'm not worried about that all the time. Everybody has gone, right? It depends on somebody against memory, they easily forget, then they is not bother them anymore, right? But somebody have just once, like, can say that some girl like raped, raping by, you know, when she, she was really small. So she cannot, everybody enjoys sex, but she cannot enjoy that anymore, right? This is big scar. They have the nightmare, right? Only once in their life. And they keep that poor all their life until they die. It was one time. It was not even your mistake, right? It was a situation in my life can have any situation, right? But you keep only one, even not mistake, one happened, you keep that. You really hate that, but you keep that forever your life. And then until you die, you're crying for that. I can't remember when I was 40, have some happened. You know, we have daily life, new event is come, even bad or good, I'm not talking about that, all the time. But thing is, we don't have to worry about, it. and we don't have to carry about, it. carries, you know, that remember, all our life. How terrible. I had like bad moment when I was small and I keep that for all my life until I'm 90 something. So which is you never enjoy your life. Just only one happened, make your life, you know, that's, so your mind 
you cannot control. You cannot make your mind strong. No, cannot. Sorry, this is true. You cannot. Only one way. That's what I'm saying. Only one way. You have to see what is the body mind first. That's enlightenment. That's why Buddha is great, Master. Everybody has scar in their mind, but nobody knows what is mind. So, what is first? What is first? You have to see the mind first. You have to clearly know where. Okay, I have scar. Where? Yeah, somewhere in mind. Don't talk to me. I'm angry now. I'm upset now. So where is it? That's simple. Because I using my mind now, but I cannot show you. Like I show you like this. And also I'm crying also. Why? This is my mind. So don't upset, don't follow the feelings. The feeling is not you, right? I afraid somebody attack me. When you thinking this all the time, you know, worry about something, it will come. My way to say, this is pray even, right? Looking for problems all the time. This is same as praying. Why don't you pray something nice? Or maybe today, oh, today I broke my cup. Maybe today is a bad day for me. That you made, you have the key because you have the mind. And you believe that today I will have bad happened. You will have bad happened. So just leave open, can happen, but I don't care. I often say that same as Disneyland. We go to Disneyland without, you know, thinking this is Disneyland. Then you will be terrible, right? Up and down and just drop you and just scale you and ghosts came in. But when you know this is just happened and it will not hurt my mind. I tell you one more time, your mind only can hurt yourself. Nobody can hurt you. That's what Buddha showed clearly. Also, what Buddha had the mind, this is same as you have. We have same mind. That's why Buddha not saying following me, you stupid people. He cannot, even he won't, cannot. Because Buddha knows that everybody has same mind. Doesn't matter somebody weak, useless, ugly, doesn't matter, same mind. Everybody has the same mind. So that you have to find out first. You cannot, sorry, maybe this is only my opinion, can be, but I don't think so. You cannot make your mind strong. But when you find out truly who you are, you are already stronger than anyone, right? You can against anything. The biggest enemy is yourself. Only you can hurt yourself. That already like Bruce Lee and you know, like many, you know, martial art masters, they already tell people, right? But people take that, oh, that's cool. No, that's true. That's not cool, right? Biggest enemy is not from outside. It's you. Only you can hurt your mind, all right? I hope it can help people.